Hey and welcome back to another video on the DeFi Whale channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the boat. So without further ado we're heading right on over to their website and we'll click to start the boat based on the story by Nam Lee, adaptation by Matt Hyun, produced by SBS. Chapter 1 The Storm The crosswind surged in, filtering through the apertures in the rotten wood, sounding like a chorus of low moans. Hugging a beam at the top of the hatch, May looked out and her breath stopped. Boat had healed so steeply that all she saw was an enormous wall of black green water bearing down. She shut her eyes, opened them again. Now the gunwale had crested the water, the ocean completely vanished. A body collided into hers, slammed her against the side of the hatch door. Other bodies, she was on top of them, thighs and ribs and arms and heads, jammed this way and that with each groaning tilt, writhing towards space as through impelling the boat to heaven to, back into the wind. Instantly she looked for Trong. There he was, knees drawn up to his chin, face as smooth and impassive as that of a ceramic toy soldier. Finally the storm arrived in force. The remaining light drained from the hold, wind screamed through the cracks, she felt the panic limbs, people clawing for direction, the banging and shapeless shouts from the deck above. The whole world reeled, everywhere the stink of vomit. Her stomach forced up, squashed through her throat. So this was what it was like, she thought, the moment before death. She tried to recall her father's stories, storms at sea, 10, 15 meters high, but they rang shallow against what she'd just seen. Those dense roaring slabs of water, sky churning overhead like a puddle being mucked with a stick. She was crammed in by a boatload of human bodies, thinking of her father and becoming overwhelmed slowly with loneliness, as much loneliness as fear. Concentrate, she told herself, and she did, forcing herself to concentrate, if not, if she wasn't able to, on the thought of her family, then on the contact of flesh pressed against her on every side. She stayed in that human cocoon heavy and rolling, concentrating until it was over. Tried to sleep. She opened her eyes. It was Kuyin. There was a sort of death in her face. Trong had appeared silently behind his mother. He stood close by Kuyin without touching her. For a moment, Mei was seized with a desire to take the boy up and press him hard against her chest, to keep him, his stillness, self-containment, whatever it was about him, close to herself. She began to smut incense from the hold. People praying to their ancestors, it lightened her head. She let herself pretend Kyuan was speaking to her and not to Trong. It's over now, child. The storm's over, child. May submitted and when she closed her eyes, she found the hum of the phantom voices almost lulling. Almost like a sea wind bearing men's voices up from the wharf. At times she thought she almost recognized her voice. And then there's chapter 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So if you want to read that, make sure to head over to their website. Now let's take a look at their pink sale pre-sale. The boat fair launch with a soft cap of 10 ETH. So to get a better understanding of what the boat is, the boat is an interactive graphic meme based on the acclaimed short story by Nam Lee of 16 year old May, sent alone by her parents on a boat after the fall of Saigon. It is usually used to against the war and appreciate people try to relieve in the difficult situation. And as we know, it consists of six chapters. And when we scroll down on their pre-sale, we see 50% goes to pre-sale, about 24 to liquidity, 12 to chapter airdrop, 9 to CEX promotion, and 3.9% is unlocked. Also make sure to follow their socials so you stay updated and get a better understanding of what this project is about. Anyways that was it for the boat fair launch. A project based around a story I'm guessing. As always nothing in this video was financial advice and you should always do your own research as well. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.